crude oil and natural gas, the price of both rose today. That's good news for my next guest, John Schiller. He is the chairman and chief executive of Energy 21, an oil and natural gas exploration firm. John has got more than three decades in the industry, probably started when he was in short pants. All right, John Schiller, tell us about Energy 21. For those that don't know, you're spending a lot of time in the Gulf of Mexico. What's the strategy of the company been? Pam, you know, we set the company up a little over five years ago to be an acquire and exploit company. So we've been acquiring mature oil properties. We now operate and own interest in seven of the 11 largest oil fields uh, ever discovered on the Gulf of Mexico shelf. And then we've added to that with our deep exploration program on the shelf where we drill below 30,000 feet in our joint venture with McMoran in water depths of less than 200 feet. Yeah, just, just if you can, just highlight that because when you talk about drilling deep, that doesn't necessarily mean that the water depth is deep. These are not deep water. These are off the shelf of the, uh, the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, correct? That's correct. I mean, you, you take our Davy Jones discovery, which will be you bring it on production in December of this year. We're in about 70 feet of water there. And, um, you know, we drilled down to, on the second well, we actually drilled below 32,000 feet. And that's all rock, very little water. Now, explain a little bit, if you can, about the relationship right now with government regulators following the disaster in the Gulf of Mexico last summer. What's the tone of the relationship with the government? Well, it, it's definitely different than it's been, Pim. Uh, we're able to get our permits. It takes a lot longer to get them than what we're used to in the past. Uh, we've had a, a definite increase in inspections on our platforms. Uh, some of it's good, some of it we welcome, and we run top-notch operations. All of us in the Gulf of Mexico do. The, the penalties for not doing that are so severe, it's not worth trying to cut a corner. So as an industry, we're always running top-notch operations out there. I think there's a step up in the frequencies, a step up in questionings, and, and to some extent, probably somewhat of a, you know, a lot of, just a lot of, they're out there a lot. Let's put it that way and leave it at that. All right. Well, if they're out there a lot, I know that you've been shedding some non-core assets. I know you did a deal in May. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, after we bought the Exxon assets uh, last December for a billion dollars, we looked at our asset base and where we were going to be spending capital, and our budget this year is going to be about $450 million. So we, we made a decision to get out of a lot of non-operated assets we had in South Louisiana. A little bit of it was operated. We were able to sell those assets for $41 million, and we're going to redeploy that money into the assets we just acquired. And you know, we're doing workovers and recompletions right now where we're getting our money paid back to us inside of two months. So we'll put that money to work real quick and make a lot more out of it. John, tell me about Blackbeard East and what's going on there in that project. You know, Blackbeard East is, is a, a deep drill well. We're targeting the lower Miocene sands and on into the Wilcox, which are some of the deepest stuff we found productive at Davy Jones. Uh, we actually drilled that well, the 32.9. We had, we lost some, we uh, stuck our drill pipe and are now in the process of sidetracking the hole from about 30,700 feet. We're going to drill that well down to 34,000 feet. And we've got some good encouragement from a mud log there, so we want to see, at a minimum, the Sparta sand that we think we've seen around 32.9. Tell me about onshore Louisiana and developments. You know, on onshore, we, we've had several successful wells there. Uh, the last one, again, in, in in partnership with McMoran, we just completed a Ponteef well. We've had it on production now for a couple of months. That well is making 45 million a day cubic feet of gas and about 500 barrels of condensate with uh, you know 10,000, 9,000 pounds flowing tubing pressure. So those are kind of wells you can get onshore South Louisiana. There's some of the same things we're tracing as we go deep on the shelf. John Schiller, tell me about jobs. Are you hiring? And if so, what kind of talent are you looking for? You know, Pam, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> we started this company six years ago with, with three of us and added two more people to do our first acquisition. Today, we've got 180 employees of Energy 21. We put on contract every day, helping operate our platforms, another 400 people. 
And then when you take into account the boats and the rigs and helicopters and all the other things involved in our properties, we're providing jobs every day for about a thousand people. I think that's a pretty good story for a company in six years that started with three employees. And it's what America needs, and, and we just increased by about 30% with the Exxon acquisition. All right, I want to thank you very much, John Schiller. He's the chairman, chief executive of Energy 21.